So we stopped and had a look at what they might be. And here we go, they're another species of gudgeon. These are called purple spotted gudgeon, and these are some of my favourite gudgeons. I've even got some in my ponds. Now the purple spotted gudgeons have these distinctive purple spots on their bodies. And the males, they'll become really dark and they'll get these bright green patches on their fins and around those spots. They get really colourful. And the female, they'll lay their eggs on a rock or a smooth bit of wood and then the male will guard those eggs and he won't let anything near them. He won't even let the female back near them. Once those eggs are laid, the male is the only fish that's going to be looking after them. And then they'll hatch and they'll go and hide underneath the rocks and sticks and leaves. And they'll eat the little microorganisms until they're big enough to take on uh, little crustaceans like shrimp and crayfish. And they'll also eat any insects that land in the water. And gudgeons, are, they keep really still. That's their method of hunting. They'll just keep really still in one spot and then they'll strike when something goes by them. And they're really quick when they strike. I think they're a really beautiful fish. And they're common. They're pretty, pretty easy to find them all throughout southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. And here's some firetail gudgeons. Don't they have a beautiful red and white fin? And they're that fin at the end of their body, that's got a nice red tinge to it as well. They keep even stiller than the purple spotted gudgeons. And they'll eat smaller prey. They'll eat little microorganisms. They'll eat little baby shrimp. They'll even eat little baby fish if they can get some small enough. And they'll eat insects as well. Here's two purple spotted gudgeons. One's puffing up their mouth either to say, keep away from me, or to say, hey, look at me, I'm a big, tough gudgeon. You can see this one's probably a male because of those colourful green and purple spots all over their body. Oh, I think they're so cool. And now we only saw small purple spotted gudgeons here, but they can get two or three times the size of these. All the fish in this river seem to be smaller than the other ones that we've encountered. And look how dark this fish is. Now these are either two males saying, this is my territory, keep away, or it's a male and a female. And the males might be trying to impress the female by attacking her, but he's gonna learn that's not how you impress a female. But as I said, they could also be two males fighting one another. They'll change the colour of their bodies to become darker, but also brighter with those colours on them. Look how dark this one's got just in the time that we've been filming them. And that beautiful blue behind their gills. And in the same section of creek, we saw some more crimson spotted rainbows. These weren't anywhere near as colourful as the ones we saw further down the creek, but they still had a nice bit of colour in them. That's a nice male that we're looking at there. He's not as colourful as some of the other males. Oh, this male. This male was so colourful. He had a really dark colour to him though. You can see he's got a dark red and a really dark patch on his tail. And you can see that female, she's impressed by him. So she's following him around. And he's also showing off to the other males to say, look at me, look at my colours, that you've got no chance with my ladies. Aren't they beautiful? It was so promising to see such good numbers of these fish in the river. They've no doubt been living in this river for thousands and thousands of years. It's quite remote and there's no other rivers near this one. I was just so impressed by how dark this rainbow was. I've never seen them quite as dark as this guy. 
Hopefully he breeds and there'll be lots of babies that get that same dark coloration. You can see there's some algae behind them that's got lots of bubbles from where it's photosynthesizing. And there's no shrimp to keep down the algae, so that's why there's so much of it.